Waigujika Kalsa, Waigujiki Fate, welcome back to a new video. Today I am super excited to be doing a complete demo of all the advanced features Siki to the Max has to offer. Now, one request I have for the Sangat who is watching this right now, we are looking for beta testers for Siki to the Max. If you're interested in testing out the new features and updates before they're released to everybody else, please check out the link in the description below and sign up for the beta program. Okay, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna grab a laptop and open up Siki to the Max. Now, if you don't know how to use the program, I have a full 20 minute tutorial walking you through the entire app so check that out but right now all i'm going to do is open up the program and just search for any shabbat also one really important note over here this laptop really should be on a wi-fi network Siki to the max will push out updates for their database every so often with corrections to translations and any mistakes that are found so you always want to make sure if possible to have your Siki to the max laptop on a wi-fi network now one common pain point that a lot of people have is they have to plug in a wire to their laptop to get Siki to the max appear on their projector or their tv but what you can actually do is buy something called a Chromecast. And Siggy to the Max has built-in support for Chromecasting. And what that does is you plug in a small $35 HDMI stick to your TV. And as long as you're on Wi-Fi, you can wirelessly screen share your laptop to the TV. And this is very, very helpful if you are sitting far away from your TV and there's no wire that can reach or if you're at your house and you wanna wirelessly use your laptop with your TV that's at home. It's very, very simple. All you need is a Chromecast device. Now, once you have the Chromecast set up and you're casting sticky to the max onto the TV, this will be used for the Sangat that is in the room who wanna follow along with the Kirtan being sung. But what I also wanna do is live stream the Kirtan, but not only that, I wanna make sure people watching at home can see the Shabbat being read. And once I plug in my camera and start broadcasting, what you can easily do now is go into Siki to the Max, open up Bonnie Overlay, and make it look exactly the way you want. You can change the font, you can change the color, the layout, and just copy in that Bonnie Overlay URL to your laptop broadcasting software. And now you instantly have the Kirtan being sung, being displayed right on top of your live stream. And if you don't wanna use a fancy camera setup, you can actually do this directly from your phone. I have a full video walking you through how to live stream Kirtan with Bonnie Overlay on your phone, if that's all you have. All right, cool. So just to recap, we have our laptop Chromecasting to the TV and we have Bonnie Overlay powering our live stream all from one laptop using Siki to the max. That's pretty cool, right? But what if I told you we can take this one step farther? Now we have the TV being used for the Sangha to follow along, but the Kirtanis on the stage may not be able to see this TV or the projector. They have a hard time seeing what's on the TV that everybody else is seeing. So wouldn't it be nice if the people on the stage who are actually doing the Kirtan had their own little monitor to follow along with the Shabbat that they're singing? If you've ever sat on the Kirtan stage before, you know that everybody usually has their phone pulled out and they're having Having to search for it one by one, it just isn't a really good solution right now. So what we've actually added in Siki to the Max is something called Sangat Sync. In Siki to the Max, if you go to the bottom left and open up the sync menu, you'll get a code. And on your phone, it doesn't matter if you're on the same Wi-Fi or not, as long as you're on a 4G connection, you can go to sttm.co slash sync and you can enter in the sync code. And now you have the Siki to the Max Shabbat that's being broadcasted right onto your phone. And there are a few advantages to this. Firstly, you can just grab an iPad, put it on a stand and put it right in front of the Kirtani. And now they have a dedicated, almost like a mini TV in front of them showing the Shabbat that they're singing. So they have their own dedicated display. Secondly, you could have anyone that wants to connect on their phone with the sync code. So it doesn't have to be the people on the stage. If you have people in the Sangha who have a hard time seeing the TV screen, you can just give them the sync code. They can go on their phone or use an iPad and they can just connect directly to Siki to the Max and read along from there. And when using Sangat Sync, it'll actually automatically scroll up and down depending on the line that's being read. So the whole Shabbat is being shown on the screen, not just the one Pankti that's being read like the TV is. You actually have the whole Shabbat and it'll automatically scroll up and down because as the person advances the line on Siki to the Max, it'll automatically change the active line on the iPad or phone screen. And my favorite part is if the Siki to the Max person searches for a new Shabbat and a new Shabbat is being sung, it'll automatically change the Shabbat on all the people's devices devices for you too. So it's literally just keeping a phone connected to the session. It'll automatically do the rest for you. It's very, very cool. And I really hope more people take advantage of this feature. All right, now we've really covered our bases. We have the TV that's using Chromecast to show everyone in the Sangat the Kirtan that's being sung. We have people at home being able to follow along through Bonnie overlay on the live stream. And now we even have the Kirtanis on the stage being able to follow along on their phones or an iPad of some sort using Sangat Sync. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you. 
Sticky to the Max actually has a feature called Bonnie Controller. And this is very, very useful if you aren't able to sit by your laptop. If you're like me and you've done Sticky to the Max Seva before, there's a good chance you've had to sit somewhere far away in the back of the Gurdwara because the laptop is nowhere near where everybody else is sitting. And also, if you ever have to get up and go to Lunger Hall or someone's calling you or you want to go sit with the Kirtan behind the stage, you have to find someone else to replace you. You can't just leave the laptop unattended. Someone else has to take your place. And there was never an easy way of doing this. But now what we've added is something called Bonnie Controller. And again, it does not matter if you're on the same Wi-Fi. As long as you have a 4G connection on your phone, you could enter that sync code and also the pin and go to sttm.co slash control and you could completely take over Sticky to the Max directly from your phone. Now imagine this. You have the laptop sitting on the side over here and you can actually walk out of the Vaughn Hall into the Lunger Hall and do some other seva if you need to do over there, or you could actually be on the stage with the rest of the Kirtanese. You could be doing Kirtan and controlling Siki to the max if you need to, and that will automatically be updating everything else around you as well because you've already set everything else up. So Bonnie controller is just the icing on the cake over here. It really makes everything else just work so flawlessly. And just one more bonus tip I want to mention about Bonnie controller is that it supports multiple people. So say you're on stage and you're trying to search for a Shabbat and you can't find it, but you have a friend who is watching the live stream at home and they just text you saying, oh, I found the Shabbat. You can give them the sync code and the pin and they can actually take over Sticky to the Max from their house and control what's happening everywhere else. So very, very powerful tool. The possibilities here are really endless. Okay, so to recap what we just talked about, we have a laptop with Sticky to the Max open that's wirelessly Chromecasting to the TV. Secondly, we have a live stream that's being used to broadcast the Kirtan that's also using Bonnie overlay to show the Sangat at home, the Shabbat that's being sung. On top of that, we have Sangat sync being used so the Kirtanese on the stage have a special monitor in front of them or they're using their own phone to follow along. And also Sangat members who have a hard time seeing the TV can use their phone to connect with Sangat sync. And lastly, we have Bonnie controller being used for one person or multiple people People to use their phone to control Siki to the max from anywhere in the Gurdwara or anywhere in the world for that matter. It absolutely blows my mind how far Siki to the max has come in the past year and I am super excited for the amazing features that will be coming out later this year. So again, if you want to participate in the beta program and test out all the new stuff that's happening behind the scenes, please check out the link in the description below. We truly need a team of Sevadars to help us out so we can properly release all these amazing features for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I post new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Gurjika Khalsa. Bye, Gurjiki Fateh.